channel. Hello everybody, my name is Adeline and today I will be reviewing the Apogee mic, which you're hearing from right now. This is the Hype mic. It is the most recent one as of 2020 and it's my go-to mic. The reasons why I love it is because one, it's portable. You can literally just like pack it up and take it anywhere you go and it's really small. Two, it sounds clear and beautiful and it takes the entire range and makes it sound really crisp. My voice is one of the things that I use it for primarily, but it also can be used for um, for guitar. There was a comparison between this microphone and another, I think it was a $10,000 microphone. I'll go put the link to that video uh, down below where they sound very similar, very similar. It still keeps that warm undertone, but it's able to catch those really high and crisp clear tones up top. So my voice, I'm a soprano. So I have a lot of really high notes that I just like bang it up there and I pop them in. So that's why I really love this mic because it manages to capture my truer voice. So it all comes in like this little packet. It's a, you're able to zip it open and zip it back. You get the microphone, of course. You connect it onto this kind of add-on where you're able to move it around 360, which is really cool and very convenient. You get this little microphone stand and then you're able to open up and you can just put it down. I found myself using this a lot when I was first beginning. I tried to do it in a car, that was messy. <laughs> it is possible though, if you put it in the back seat, I'll put the snippet here. See me shining, yeah, I own the gram all day. Oh. Gonna grow them hits and have life go my way. Yeah. There are three main attachments that it's using. It's currently attached using USB. That's my favorite because it's just plug and play. You can put it in Logic Pro, you can put it in GarageBand, and currently I'm using it on Photo Booth, which is super simplistic. The other adapters that it has, it connects from the microphone to the lightning cable, so you're able to connect it to your iPhone, which is the coolest thing. So in a later chapter, I'll talk to you about levels, and I'll talk to you about how it operates on mobile. And then the very last one is Thunderbolt. So for all of you newer phones who only have Thunderbolt or MacBooks who don't have any USB cables, they keep that in mind for you. It also comes with a little Allen wrench on the bottom of the stand. If you want it to have more resistance, you can tighten it. It also comes with a pop filter. The pop filter is weak sauce. This little guy, I struggle. It's really difficult to actually like put onto your microphone for some reason. Like there's no way to put it on ergonomically. When I put it on, it wouldn't line up straight. Like I'd have to bend it and manipulate it and then it would go back to like off to the side. There's all of these little scratch marks on the back of my microphone because of this guy. So I tossed him. I didn't like him. Also, it breaks easily. The very first day I was really excited. I was like, oh, this is one of the most expensive microphones that I ever bought all by myself. And then like this happened and he popped out and then it's like a little screw part. And I was like, oh, well, it's a screw part. So you can just screw it back in, right? Well, it stripped the hole. So there's no way you can put it back in. I opted for my own pop filter. This is so like world's better. I think they were just trying to say like, hey, we don't clear peas. The other con that I would like to talk about is the mobile user. So the two things is TikTok and GarageBand. When you put it onto TikTok, it does this. This is into the unknown, but we're gonna keep. So it has this weird like before it plugs in. It just takes a while for it to like realize that it needs to connect. The other app was GarageBand. So literally every time that you would record on GarageBand, it would reset your levels. So you'd have to test your levels again, and then you would have to re-record and you have to do it in the same take. You have like this volume button where you're able to scroll it, but you will scroll it to infinity. It's a loop. For me, I keep it on lowest setting. I don't touch it and I just fix everything in post because it's such a pain when you're trying to equalize everything and every all of your levels are different. I highly recommend not using it on mobile garage band and TikTok short content. You can probably use it on the live content. It's just if as long as you're cool with like the first few seconds of it going like I'm gonna go and show you some tests with it. So let's get started. I believe the children are future. 
Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. And I. That's voice. Let's do it with guitar too. For guitar, you can put it in multiple placements. A little whole thing, a little further away. I like to put it right here. 12 to the end of your string because it catches kind of like that, that acoustic little. Now let's kind of do like a middle ground. Yeah, where it catches both the voice and the guitar so you can just do one take. See the pyramids along the Nile Watch the sunrise from a tropic isle Just remember, darling, all the while You belong to me I also wanted to talk about headphones. So really cool thing is that it connects directly to the headphone. It has to be an eighth inch and you plug it directly into your hype mic and that way it gives you a direct signal instead of you having to wait for the latency on your, uh, your DAW or whatever it is that you're recording. I love being able to hear myself if that's important to you too. This microphone catches everything. When you're up close, you're like super up close. So I love to be probably like an arm's length away, like a healthy arm's length away. I could just do tests to show you like where you're able to hear it. So uh, check one, two, three. So this is me on the side of it and I'm gonna walk more towards the center. As you can see, I'm exactly in the center, walking more around to the sides. And then now you shouldn't be hearing very much of it. Um, let me see if I could get to the other side. So as you can see, I'm right behind it. Um, and you can't really hear much of it. Like the signal isn't really coming through, but um, then that's really good if you want to record something that's like just in front of you, like a performance or, um, uh, yeah, pretty much a performance. <laughs> this particular mic, this model, it has settings on it. This is compression level number one, where it's very delicate and it's not very much compression occurring. This is level two, where it should be a little bit more compression and it sounds almost like it's gonna get like, like smooshed a little. And then this is level three, where it should sound like a podcast, and it should sound like, oh, whale. I personally like the first level the most. It just sounds most natural. There, there we go. So, yeah, now I sound like a human being. Again, note that sometimes it resets, so you may have to check it to make sure that your levels are all the same. With this microphone, I have been able to do a lot of professional demos with it, EPs and, and recordings that are, like, actually competitive. If you're thinking about a microphone, highly recommend this one. But again, if you want to like go for the cheaper version, the 96K is just as good. The only reason why I got this one is because it's slightly pink and I like pink. <laughs> I thought that it would be like a huge improvement. It's not that huge of an improvement. It's just, it looks nicer. It comes with a couple of more things, but the 96K, if you just want to start out and get good quality um, without breaking too much of the bank, then like, get this guy, he's gonna record your guitar, he's gonna record your vocals, he's gonna record your podcast, and he's even gonna record the audio for your videos. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, if you have any other requests too. I have a couple of other microphones and other equipment that I would love to share with you. Let me know what questions you have about my setup and um, I'll tell you all the tips and tricks and secrets too. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.